So here I'm going to explain the, the principle of triangulation to the students. I've drawn a simple tetrahedron, which is a shape made of four equilateral triangles. The task I'm going to complete now is I'm going to develop the three upright triangles of our surface. I have found a true length line of one of our surfaces, this surface here. We know this is true length as we're seeing this lamina or this triangle as an edge view. So this is our true length. We can also see true lengths in our elevation, such as this line here. These lengths will be very important when it comes to triangulation. So what I will do is, I will project a line at the same angle as our true length line. I'll then draw a line perpendicular to this. That will be our base for our first triangle. I can then use the width that I know, so the base, half the base of my triangle, rotate it like so. And I can take my true length of my height, so and I can bring that from here, and that will give me my first triangle. Here I use fold lines to show that that's where the the next surface will hinge from. Okay, so now is where I really use triangulation. I can use these two measurements, these two true length measurements that we have, to find my next two shapes. So firstly, I can take my true length once again, and I can swing it from the top of my first equilateral triangle, like so. I can then come back and take my base, base length, which should be identical because it's an equilateral triangle, swing it, and where these intersect, I'm giving my second triangle. Once again, I use fold lines here, as there will be a third triangle. And we can do the same again to find the final part of our developed tetrahedron. Excluding the base. Here we can use a solid line. And that is how we can use triangulation to find true shapes.